to start. Oh, good. She hadn't started yet. That was quick. No, she hadn't even started yet. What's her name? Andrea. Gosh, the horse is so good. Isn't he wonderful? He has a lot of knee action. He's oh he's an Andalusian, gosh. and he has one of those Andalusians that has a lot of knee action. But I love, I love, I love her red and green uh, leg wraps. Aren't they cute? She's su she's a funny. She's such a funny gal. And she's like, oh, I brought these red and green leg wraps. I'm like, you are too funny. It's so oh cute. Oh my gosh, he's elegant. Yes, he's a he's a good boy, and she does a great job riding him. Oh my gosh, he's not an easy horse to ride. It's slick over there. Yeah. Get a trick. Yeah, and he's very very. He has a lot of energy. There's a lot of go, so she's a good rider. <coughs> I bred my mare to an Andalusian. Oh, you told me that, yeah. But then you told me the baby wasn't what you expected. Exactly. Well, you know, I mean, it's matter. like any breed. You I can. Didn't intend to keep the baby anyway. So. Well, that's good. Okay. But you know, there, there, there's a lot of variation within the breed. So, some of them have this high knee action like this, and some of them don't. And some of them come with. I mean, they. Have like a Roman nose. Yes, very that's that's very. Um, the Iberian horses are supposed to have a convex nose. Yeah. The the whole thing of the Iberian horses, they're supposed to look round from tip to tail, and so that convex well, nose she, is very desirable in is. Iberian. Very desirable, very desirable. Yeah, very I have a Lusitano. He has a very convex nose, but that's very desirable in the breed. That's ex that's expected and actually valued. Okay. Yeah, so that's a, that's not a bad dog. thing. In any other breed, it would be a Roman nose, and it would be bad. My my sister shows hunter jumpers, and um, my colt has a very convex nose. I actually have two colts. I have a half Lusitano and full Lusitano. Both have convex noses, and she's like, "Oh my God, they have those horrible Roman noses." I said, "Yeah, that's what you want in an Iberian. You that's very desirable. <coughs> they breed for that, actually." I'll be darned. Well, it makes me feel totally different about it. Yeah. No, no, no. That's what you want. That's that's a breed characteristic of the Iberian horses. This horse does not have a very convex face. The Lusitanos, the Lusitanos have it more than the Andalusians, I think. Yeah, and she, I'm going to tell you, she's a good rider because he's, he's, I've seen him get really, really hot. She does a good job. Well done. Yeah, very nice on the bridge. Well very nice. How old is he, do you know? He is 17, I think she oh. told me this morning. 16 or 17. He's no spring chicken. He's the same age as me. He's a stallion, by the way. I, I, you know, yesterday I looked at him and I said, mm -hmm. is that horse intact? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That even makes me more She astounded. bred him to a warm blood mare she has, and I think the baby's really nice. <coughs> she doesn't own him. He's owned by some people that live in South Carolina, I think. But she's she rides him. She's the only one who takes care of him and rides him. I don't know how long she's had him, but uh, I met her at a show last year when my horse got away from me twice in Taylor and ran way far away. And luckily, Andrea was driving by and saw him and recognized him and oh, helped me get him back. Oh he's he's a he's a Houdini horse. He loves to get away and kind of do his own thing. Uh -huh. Um. My horse. <laughs> I rode her at home, and I always tack her and untack her at the trailer. And so she was tied to the trailer with her halter on, and I took it off and turned around and walked away from her, thinking that she would go graze, because we're in the middle of a pasture. Mm -hmm. And I went and did some chores, and I kept looking back, and she was still standing there at the trailer. <laughs> so I took oh. a picture and put it on Facebook, and I said, "My horse thinks she's tied." That's so funny. She doesn't even have her halter on. It's just been there for 30 minutes. That's amazing. That's a good horse. My my little paint mare is kind of like that. She'll wait for me to give her permission to move. This guy, eh, eh. he's he's going to take every advantage he can to get away from me and do what he wants to do. He's probably a whole lot smarter. 
Well, he's... Now, why did she let go of the gate? She I don't think she meant to. Okay. I'm trying she to hope. Could, could she, reach it. she could, yeah. yeah. She didn't have enough bend. Yeah. <laughs> That's my new catch word. I never yeah, heard that bend, word. bend. I know, that was all over my score sheet yesterday. Exactly. Not enough bend, not enough bend, not enough bend. And, and she, this morning when I was grabbing for her, she said, been, not enough bend toward the object. So I'm going to put up a bunch of objects and bend toward the Yes, I got that comment too, and I'd never gotten that before. But uh, I got that comment on the gate yesterday, and I'd never really been aware of that. <clears throat> Bending around poles is tough. Good job, Andrea. Very good job. Gosh, he's such a powerful. Yeah, he is very powerful. Whoa. 